Okay, we're going to talk today about polyacrylic and lacquer. And they're both very different in the way that they're made, yet their applications can oftentimes be very similar. You'll find yourself wondering, uh, especially for indoor pieces, which one is better. We'll go through and tackle that today. We're also going to take you inside and show you a project we just finished and why we chose one of these over the other, so you can learn from that. As always, if you like what you see, hit the like button. It really helps us out and helps other people see this video. And if you want to be notified of all of our future content, our future videos we produce, hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So you're going to someday be faced with a choice of whether you want to use a polyacrylic top coat or whether you want to use a lacquer top coat. And the choice is not that difficult in most cases. Uh, polyacrylic is water-based and uh, lacquer is lacquer thinner based and it's a complex it is a complex chemistry it's not like paint thinner or something and lacquer is very toxic the fumes so if you're going to use lacquer you're going to have to take that into account uh, that's the biggest disadvantage of using lacquer it's a it's a clear finish like polyacrylic uh, and it generally goes on uh, in a variety of ways. The most common way, it's used commercially a lot, and, and the way it's commonly uh, applied commercially is with uh, a, a very good sprayer. Uh, and then you would use these large cans of acrylic lacquer, uh, and that lacquer would go into a spray can and you would spray uh, the, the, uh, the piece. There also, it also comes in, uh, in brush-on. This is a brush-on lacquer. Brushing lacquer on uh, is very difficult. Uh, and if you are trying to do a large piece, it's extremely difficult because it dries almost instantly and you have to keep a wet edge across the entire piece. So if it's a small piece, that's perfectly doable. If it's a large piece, that's a real challenge to keep that wet edge and you have to be really fast. Another way you can do it is to buy uh, spray cans of lacquer, and this actually does a fairly good smooth application of lacquer uh, on whatever you're doing. The problem is that this gets expensive. Uh, these cans are much more expensive per ounce than lacquer in these other forms. So you can use this again on small projects. Again, I wanna caution you though, anytime you're using lacquer, uh, you need to be uh, in a space that's ventilated and you need to wear respiratory uh, blocking equipment that allow you to breathe but don't allow those fumes to came, come through. Now polyacrylic uh, has some similar characteristics in that it goes on clear. It also dries quickly, although not as lightning fast as lacquer, but it dries pretty quickly. You have the same uh, wet edge issue with polyacrylic because it's, it's water-based and dries quickly, uh, but it's, uh, it dries slower than lacquer. Uh, lacquer, sometimes you have a problem getting the sprayer to get the, the lacquer onto the wood before it dries in midair. That can happen, especially on very hot, dry circumstances. The polyacrylic, you can brush on or you can wipe it on with a cloth. Uh, it does not smell, it is not toxic, and cleanup is with water, uh, whereas cleanup with a lacquer would be with a lacquer thinner. Neither of these products is uh, particularly good for outdoors. Uh, the, the lacquer is really a non-starter outdoors. It will, not, it will not hold up to sun at all. Polyacrylic does not hold up as well outside as an oil-based, say, polyurethane, but it's better, uh, more durable than the lacquer. You definitely don't want to put either one of these products into direct sunshine, and really indoors is uh, the place to use them. So let's go take a look at an actual project uh, and, and talk a little bit more about what would be appropriate to uh, finish that particular project. So here's an example where you could use polyacrylic or lacquer. This is a farmhouse table that we built. Uh, you see it turned out very nice. Uh, we didn't use expensive wood uh, and we used a water-based stain on this. If you bought this from a commercial manufacturer, that commercial manufacturer would not use polyacrylic. 
that commercial manufacturer would use lacquer and would use an expensive spraying equipment. And the reason they do that is because it is lightning fast to get multiple coats of lacquer onto a piece like this. Most com or a lot of commercial furniture that you buy is spray on lacquer. We, however, uh, did not want to do that. We, we did not want the smell. We did not want the toxic fumes, uh, and, but we wanted a durable finish. Uh, and, and by the way, this polycrylic is more durable than, uh, than the lacquer. We brushed it on and we were very careful to keep a wet edge. It dries quickly, but not lightning fast. This table you could not uh, brush on, use brush on lacquer. You would have to spray the lacquer on. And the reason is because of its immense size, you would be unable to keep a wet edge across the entire thing. So the polycrylic worked out very well. The lacquer would work very well on this project, but you have the downside of the smell, the toxic fumes uh, to deal with. In summary, We've looked at polycrylic and we've looked at lacquer in the various forms it comes in. And the conclusion is that lacquer is uh, durable but la and, and it has to be uh, sprayed on if it's a large project. It can be brushed on but only on small projects. Acrylic on the other hand uh, brushes on uh, fairly nicely. Again, you have to keep a wet edge but it doesn't dry lightning fast like lacquer does. Neither one of these is particularly durable in an outdoor environment. They're both better suited for indoors and you definitely don't want to put a finish from either of these in the sun outside. Uh, so the, the downsides of the lacquer are it dries very quickly, which can be a downside if you try to brush it on. The biggest downside is the toxicity of the fumes and the uh, explosive potential if you're near a flame and using it indoors. Polycrylic is very benign. It has virtually no smell at all and it has a water cleanup. Now we have a lot of different uh, uh, videos uh, on various products to use for finishing. So if you're interested in other finishes other than the two we've talked about today, uh, you can look in the show notes down below and we'll put some links in there. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please like it. That helps us. And also, uh, we suggest you subscribe so that you'll get uh, notified of our future uh, content.